What you're hearing is real. This isn't a stock sound effect. This is a radio signal that was received by NASA in July 2020. Since 2001, astrophysicists have discovered about 1,000 radio signals from deep space. They all come from thousands, some millions of light years away from galaxies unseen and unexplored in the depths of space. A lot of them are so far away, we can't even get so much as a glimpse with our most powerful telescopes. Some of these signals pulsed through in a thousandth of a second, with the same amount of energy in a single pulse as our sun produces in an entire year. These signals are no small ordeal. When they receive one, NASA works hard to find their origins, but some happen so fast or come from so far away, it's currently impossible to reach the source. Your first question may be, how is it possible to hear these signals if sound doesn't even travel through space? We'll get to that a bit later. As these signals suddenly pulse onto our collective radars as a planet, everyone scrambles to uncover their sources. But out of the thousand signals that have been received, they've only managed to discover the sources of five. What's fascinating about these signals is while hundreds come through with one single burst of energy, some of them repeat the same pattern over and over again. In 2020, NASA revealed something unknown from a galaxy 500 million light years away was transmitting a signal that they were picking up every 16 days. They have no idea what's causing it or why it's being transmitted. The real question is why they decided to reveal this at the height of COVID. We were already living in fear and paranoia. Why would you throw mysterious space signals at us in the middle of all that? They're also receiving another signal from a dwarf galaxy 3 billion light years away every 157 days. This brings us to GPM J1839-10. In beautiful Australia, the International Center for Radio Astronomy Research had a mission to uncover the mysteries of space. In 2013, they launched the Murchison Wide Field Array, which is a powerful and kind of weird looking telescope. It looks like a nest of mechanical spiders to me, but hey, if it gets the job done and maybe sort of works as an alien scarecrow, good for them. Just keep them from landing on us. Despite its very alien look, the Murchison Wide Field Array is one of the most powerful telescopes on the planet, and it specializes in locating radio frequencies in space. It has an impressive range of 70 to 300 megahertz, and it was specifically designed to detect spectral atomic hydrogen emissions. But in the process, they found a lot more than that. In September 2022, after nearly 10 years in operation, they received a signal like they had never seen before. It was a powerful magnetic pulse coming from the Scudum constellation, 15,000 light years away from Earth. While that's far, it was a lot closer than other signals that have been discovered. The Scudum constellation is actually close enough to see with the naked eye. What was strange about this radio signal was that while others that had been discovered came every few weeks or days, this one was repeating every 22 minutes all day, every day, never stopping. They had never seen anything like this. The original thought was that this must be a magnetar. A magnetar is a neutron star with a magnetic field that's 1,000 times stronger than any normal neutron star. Their magnetic field is a trillion times stronger than the Earth's magnetic field. Only 30 of these stars have ever been discovered. Now, magnetars are known for releasing bursts of energy, which is why this was their first theory. When a magnetar is found, they're closely monitored. On occasion, they go through sudden shifts or changes, and they cause star quakes. And yes, that is a real thing. As these magnetars spin, at times they lose a little bit of equilibrium, much like a spinning top. And when they do, they can release bursts of energy that are so powerful that if a magnetar was too close to Earth and had a star quake, it would cause a global extinction event. But what made this signal unique and caused all kinds of debate and controversy was that while all other known magnetars released bursts of energy within a fraction of a second, the energy pulses coming from this object 
would last up to five minutes at a time. Also, the power of the pulses vary quite a bit, which was seen by the brightness of these different pulses. And then, in order to produce these radio signals, a certain speed is required in the spin of these stars. But this object was spinning too slow to produce the level of energy needed to release these signals, if it was what they thought it was. So is it a magnetar or something else? The signal was so unique and so frequent that the team of astronomers thought, surely someone else has picked up this signal before. With so many people fascinated by space and the study of it, there must be something to help them understand. They sent messages out to fellow astronomers with the little bit of data that they had, asking for any and all help to understand it. Astrophysicists all over the world started searching their records and they started sending their findings in. The giant Metrowave radio telescope in India and the very boringly named the Very Large Array in the United States both had records of this same signal in their archives all the way back to 1988. In the initial observations, Astronomers not having the same level of technology that we have today saw the pulses coming from this object only every now and then. They would see a bright pulse two or three times a month rather than every 22 minutes. This could either be because they were only capable of seeing the more powerful pulses at the time, or the pulses have sped up over the past several decades like a big magnetic alien death star warming up its super laser. You know what also puts out powerful, sometimes confusing signals on a regular basis? This channel. And subscribing to it will level up the durability of your tinfoil hat by 10 points. And liking this video is like shooting energy pulses back at GPMJ1839-10 and sets the death timer back by one minute per like. Dr. Natasha Hurley Walker, one of the astrophysicists studying this signal said, assuming it's a magnetar, it shouldn't be possible for this object to produce radio waves, but we're seeing them. And we're not just talking about a little blip of radio emission. Every 22 minutes, it emits a five minute pulse of radio wavelength energy and it's been doing that for at least 33 years. Whatever mechanism is behind this is extraordinary. One of the most bizarre elements of this mysterious space object is that when these astrophysicists tried to find a signal using an X-ray telescope, which is one of the easiest ways to find magnetars because they always generate X-ray bursts, this particular signal had no X-ray pulse traces and was undetectable with the X-ray telescope, making it all the more mysterious. As more and more astrophysicists join in on this study, they discovered other similar signals, although none yet quite like this one. Gleam X, with a ridiculously long string of letters after it, was a radio signal that was broadcast from January to March 2018 every one minute and 18 seconds. After that, it stopped and hasn't been broadcast again. By the way, I don't want to be the only one talking here. Tell me what you think in the comments about this signal. What is it? Is it just an abnormal magnetar, a more advanced civilization somewhere out there in the universe, or something else? You may be asking if these radio signals are saying anything. Is there some kind of code or language in the signal? How can we even hear radio waves if sound doesn't travel through space? We're so young in space technology that it's hard to say for sure. There certainly could be a code in there. There could be a language in there that we simply are unable to distinguish or decipher or actually be able to read right now. But it turns out space is full of crazy sounds and signals that will give you goosebumps. I mean, just look at this map right here showing some of the signals that have been found. If you thought the radio signal you heard earlier was creepy, NASA also released real audio of what a black hole sounds like. Yeah, a black hole. Here it is. Without a doubt, the majority of the signals that are being heard, these radio signals, they're just, well, space noises. As for the sound and radio waves travel thing, sound waves, as we hear them on Earth, are produced by vibrations through the air. Sound needs air to move. 
no air, no sound. There is no air in space. So if you were in space and the astronaut next to you got exploded by aliens, you wouldn't even hear it. But radio waves are unique. They don't need air to propel themselves. They are fully self-propelling. So they can travel literally millions of light years, and as long as they don't hit anything on the way, they'll just keep going. Make sure you check out my video on ball lightning if you haven't already. It's pretty wild. What's your theory?